everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so today I'm showing you how to transform a very old bureau desk it is very old but it needed a lot of work so I gave it a huge makeover it's so beautiful and in fact this piece sold actually right away and I hadn't even posted it I only posted it on my website but it sold they absolutely love it and I love it. So I'm gonna show you the entire process on how I transform this piece into something really beautiful. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and enjoy. So here it is, it's such a beautiful piece. It is very old. It has the square nails at the back and that's how I can tell how old it is too. There is a bit of work that needs to be done. There's peeling veneer on the bottom and it needs a really good cleanup and makeover. So to get started, I always start with sanding the top if I'm going to leave it raw wood. And I used my Bosch Orbital Sander with 80 grit sanding disc. Then once I have done that, I would go over with the 220 and then 600. Now this stain is very old and so it's coming off quite easily, which I was really happy about. I love it when it comes off so easily. Here's a close up of how it's coming off with the 220 sanding disc. And that's what it looks like. So I sanded the rest of the piece just to have some adhe great adhesion for the paint. And I wanted the top and the drawers to be raw wood. Once I had done that, I wrapped up the top and wrapped around the drawers because I'm going to be spraying primer and paint and I didn't want to get any on the tops. Once that was done, I cleaned the piece and then used my favorite primer spray, Kills brand. And I knew that there was gonna be bleed through, so this spray will stop the bleed through and just give a really smooth finish. And great coverage as well. Then I sprayed inside the cubbies. Now these were quite tight and small. Make sure you're wearing your mask. Mine is an RZ mask and it's very lightweight. Making sure to get all of the corners and small areas and all the places that are have exposed wood. Once that was done, I sanded with 220 grit sanding disc just to give that smooth finish because this piece was quite rough and I just run my hand over it to make sure it's smooth. Once that was done and I had wiped it all down, from dust I used my Wagner sprayer to spray Zinzer Bin 123 gray primer. Now I usually use white primer with white paint, but I had an idea where I wanted the gray to show through, but <laughs> later on that sort of changed. My idea sort of transformed into something else. But the gray is fine still, it doesn't matter. It still works as well. Now here I am spraying the primer into the closed areas and I forgot to put my safety glasses on and I'll tell you why later. So I wanted some texture on this piece so I used Country Chic Pink Texture Powder and paint in crinoline. And so I poured it into a container and used one part texture powder, one part paint, making sure that I had plenty to cover the whole piece. This container is the size of, it's the pint, but I think you can also get it in a four ounce, which is smaller. Then I mixed the paint with the powder, equal amounts and mixed really well. So it should look like a consistency of peanut butter and it should be quite thick, which this is. And you can always make up more if you run out. So I forgot to mention that I wanted some extra texture. So I used a modeling gel paste and you can get this at Michael's. 
or any art store like Curry's. And I will put the link in description in my description all about that modeling gel. I actually use it on my art canvases and it creates a really nice texture and sort of bumpiness. Now with the country chic paint texture, what I'm doing here is just dabbing it on and creating just little bits of um, bumpiness and texture. After it had completely dried, I used 220 sanding disc just to go over it. Now here's my safety goggles and my mask because I am now spraying inside the cubbies and over the texture areas with Country Chic Paint Crinoline, which is an off-white paint. And when you're spraying into closed areas like this, the spray will hit the wall and go right into your face and eyes. So make sure you're wearing safety goggles. And that's what I had forgotten to put them on earlier. And so this is where I'm wearing them again and my mask. Because you do not want that overspray spraying into your face. And it's usually with the closed off areas. So I sprayed this entire piece with the crinoline. While that was drying, I sprayed the sides of the drawers with the kill spray because I was adding a transfer on there and I didn't want any bleed through or the wood showing. So I did all of the drawers and like I had said, I had wrapped them around with the plastic. Once that was done and dry, I sanded and then sprayed the Country Sheet Paint Crinoline. Then once that was dry, I sanded again with 600 grit sanding paper and started to add the transfer. Now with transfers, make sure that your paint or surface is completely dry and they say about 48 hours. I know that seems a long time, but you do not want your paint peeling. So I had measured this transfer. Now this transfer comes together with the gingham, stripes and gingham it's called. And so I wanted sort of a pattern. So I did stripes and then the gingham. All you do is you measure it out, place it onto your surface once you've taken the plastic off and it comes with a little stick, a tool that you can use to rub the transfer on. As you're rubbing, pull back the plastic, making sure that the transfer is completely onto the surface. If it's coming up a little bit with the plastic, just put the plastic back and then rub over it again. And then rub your hand over it to make sure there's no air bubbles for when you're going to seal it. And I use Country Chic Paint Clear Coat to seal the transfers afterwards. So that was the bottom drawer. This is the next drawer that I wanted the gingham on. Now I did want stripes gingham stripes, but that didn't work out. I must have made a mistake and did stripes and then gingham on both drawers. But that's okay because it turned out really pretty. So again here I'm just measuring it out and then I'm going to do the same thing as before. Placing the transfer onto the surface. and then rubbing it on, just like this. So then you're just gonna rub the transfer and peel back the plastic. So once I had done all the drawers, I sprayed the hardware. This is the original hardware. I really didn't want to replace them because they were just older and they came with the piece and I just feel that they matched really well. And I didn't want to put anything else, something modern on it because it wouldn't have matched. And I just used the Rust-Oleum paint and primer spray. So once all that had done, I decided to add another transfer onto the texture sides of the desk. This one is really, really pretty. They all are. 
And I'm just doing the same thing as I did with the drawers, placed it, and then rubbed it on. So once I had done that, I went and took off the plastic off the top and the drawers, and then used my Soiree by Country Chic Paint, which is a beige paint color. And then I used my Country Chic Paint angle brush and spray bottle to brush on the paint. So I'm creating a wash over the wood so that when I go to seal it, the wood color does, doesn't come out orange. And it stays that natural wood color. I usually do this for every single piece when I'm doing the raw wood tops. So that's what it looks like. And now I'm just brushing on with my Country Chic paint brush and clear coat to seal it. This is my favorite top coat for everything. Again, I'll put that in the description. So now it was time to seal the entire piece and making sure you're wearing a mask when spraying top coat and your safety glasses, especially when there's closed areas like this. Make sure that you have a door open or some ventilation. I don't usually spray with the handles on, but these handles needed top coat. And here it is. I think it turned out so beautiful, absolutely amazing. Love the transfers on the sides of the drawers. Love the transfer on the side of the piece. It just looks so pretty. And I really think that I kept with the age of the piece, but also brightened it up a little bit. I hope that you enjoyed that video. I am so happy that my customers love this piece. It was such a fun makeover to do and the transfers are fun as well to add that extra, you know, pop of color or character. Um, it's just a really fun design to do. So the link for Redesign with Prima transfers and products are in my description. And next week I am going to be coming out with another video. So this will be every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern and this makeover that I'm showing next week is another big transformation. You won't even recognize the piece. I'll definitely be showing the before and a sneak peek in my community tab. So you can check that out this week. And August 21st, don't forget we're doing the Ugly Duckling Challenge, which is so exciting. I am really looking forward to that one as well. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. Take care and have a great day.